Buenos dias from sunny Bogota, Colombia. In this video, it's going to be a bit of a walk and talk. I'm going to tell you what's going on with my life. Also, what's the next move for me? Lots of things going on, lots of things in the pipeline. And also, I want to give my opinion on a few things. It would also be good to hear your opinion on things also in the comments. Okay, first off, what should we talk about? Firstly, I want to talk about what I'm actually doing at the moment. I'm obviously here in Colombia, but I'm not going to be here for much longer. I'm here for another month, then my visa runs out. Then I'm going to go to another South American country. I don't know if I should tell you. Um, I might keep that one close to my chest. But after that, I'm going to go to Europe because obviously the weather is a lot more sunny there at the moment. Where I'm going to go in Europe, I don't know also. Let me know in comments where I should go. Obviously, if you follow the channel, you well know I like food. I just thought out of curiosity the other day, I would Google Serbian food in Colombia, and guess what? There's an actual Serbian restaurant here in Bogota, and I think the lady, she's from Belgrade, so that is pretty mad. I let my followers on Instagram vote whether I should film there or not, and it was a resounding victory to yes, they want me to film. So if you're not following me on Instagram also, follow me at Bermsey check out all my latest happenings there but yeah I'm curious about this Serbian food I noticed the lady she sells Sama also Rakia as well as other things so I think this will be really interesting a taste of Serbia in Colombia who would have thought it so yeah keep your eyes peeled for that video it'll be coming soon the majority of my subscribers are from Serbia because I spent a lot of time in Serbia and I always keep a keen interest on what's going on in Serbia first off I want to say a big congratulations to OFK Beer Grad I actually done a few videos on OFK Beer Grad, a massive club in Belgrade in Serbia, which for me they're a sleeping giants and now they're back in the promised land, they're back in the Premier League of Serbia. For me it's very cool to see because actually when I was in uh, Belgrade last time I actually watched them in the third division. Now they're in the top flight. It's incredible and it's incredible for the fans also because I know what they've been through. They've been through a lot. If you don't know the story, I'll leave a link in the description. Check it out. But yeah, to see them back in the promised land, quality. The only thing I'll say though, there's a bit of a grey area with the stadium. The stadium is not up to the top flight standard. And I've been speaking to some of the fans and what they're saying is different things to me. I know that the home games are not going to be played at the old stadium because it's not to standard. The actual Belgrade uh, council owned the stadium, I'm led to believe. And some fans are telling me they're gonna do refurbishments on it. Also other fans are telling me they're gonna get a new stadium. Now, for me, I've got an opinion on what I think should happen. We've all got an opinion on sports. Um, one thing I can see, which for me as a football fan is disappointing, is that they're not going to see home games because they're not playing at their stadium in Belgrade they're going to be playing like 250 kilometers away I've been told so it's going to be really difficult for those OFK beer grad fans to follow the home games now I don't know if there's been a contract signed for refurbishments I don't know if there's been a contract signed for a new stadium for me I'm just a little bit wary of the situation of where They've left the home, they're not playing the home games, you know, it seems like there's nothing concrete, nothing concrete with a contract to say the refurbishments are going to happen or they've got a new stadium. Now the danger there is, and this is coming from a football fan who can see what happens in England, that a lot of fans are promised things and they don't get them. Now the problem that I can see, I'm hoping they get a contract for a new stadium or refurbishments because if they don't then I've seen with a lot of clubs in England who get promised things and don't the clubs actually end up going from one place to the next and they don't have a home and this would be for me a disaster now I know there's maybe uh, clubs closer that actually could accommodate OFK Beer Grad now I know they've got rivals in Belgrade there's certain clubs who they don't want to share with but I know there's uh, stadiums closer than 250 kilometers away of which maybe you could share. Now, I'd be interested to hear the OFK Beer Grad supporters' opinion on this. Uh, I'd like to know a bit more information uh, what's going on 
you know, with regards to refurbishments or have they got a new stadium? Uh, if you could let me know in the comments and like I say, tell me because it's a bit of a grey area. But I don't want OFK Beograd, after seeing them in the third division and seeing the fans of what they've gone through to preserve the club and actually, how can I put it? The club is the lifeblood to them. And first off, they've got no home games. So that is, like I say, a bit of a disaster in my eyes that they can't see the home games. They'll see the away games against Partizan, Red Star. But, you know, as a football fan, you need to see your team play. And 250 kilometers away, uh, the stadium of which they play the home games, that's too far away. So there needs to be, for me, uh, a result of where they're told they can either ground share closer or they're going to get the stadium at a certain date or refurbishments done at a certain date because they're in the third division when I saw them now they're in the top flight the fans definitely do not want to miss out on home football this would be a tragedy also next point uh, I see a Brad I can't even say his name a Bradovich the uh, Partizan basketball coach I see he signed on for a uh, new contract, so that's good to see. He's an absolute legend. I think he's one of the greatest uh, personalities in sports, um, and his record speaks for itself, so that is quality. But I noticed Partizan lost recently to the Red Star uh, three basketball games. I was keeping an eye on that, so yeah, I think uh, I don't know what's happening there, but if you could tell me what's going on with that, also, like I say, I'm far away. I do keep an eye on the results, but do they need new players? Does uh, Bradovich need to shake it up a little bit? What's going on? Let me know. Moving on to Partizan, the football club. I see they finished second to Red Star. Um, I mean, last season they finished second to Red Star. Uh, I don't know, disaster. They need to win the league and Again, I don't really know what is going on with the club as regards to uh, on the field. Uh, what's, what's the team? What's, what, what they're like? What's the uh, situation there? Obviously, finishing second to Red Star is not good, but are the team playing well? Uh, what's the manager like? Uh, also, with regards to um, the fans, last time I was there, which is going back, I say, about a year, year and a half ago, I noticed there was a bit of uh, disgruntlement with the fans with the actual board and a lot of fans were staying away which for me I hope that gets sorted I hope the fans are coming back because for me I want to see a full stadium I want to experience that I watched them against Colm in the um, what was it the Europa and the ground was half full and even at half full capacity i tell you what, that atmosphere was absolute class. If you haven't seen that video also, I'll leave a link in the description. But yeah, the fans were up for it that night. I can only imagine what the fans would be like if that was a full house. Unbelievable. So yes, I hope everything's sorted off the pitch with regards to uh, the fans and the, the political aspect of things. Um, it's not really something I get involved in. I'm just a pure sports person. I don't mix politics with sports. So, yeah, I hope everything is sorted. I hope the fans come back because, yeah, that would be mad. A full house there at Partizan. Okay, another thing. Now, this is what I've noticed. The Euros. England have drew Serbia. And I think it's on the 15th of June, I think. You can correct me if I'm wrong. But, yeah, that's, that's a big game. Um... When I saw that fixture, I was like, that's cool. That's really cool. I'd like to see uh, England against Serbia uh, in competition. But for me, the perfect result would be a draw. I would like to see a draw because I think if, yeah, if England win, I'll be a bit gutted. I know it sounds a bit mad, I'm English, but yeah, if England win, I'll be gutted in the sense that Serbia have lost. If Serbia win, I'll be gutted that England lost. So yeah, I think the best, a scenario for that would be a draw. I'm looking at 1-1, that would be cool. So yeah, fingers crossed for the draw because if England win, I'll be a little bit upset that Serbia lost. And if Serbia win, I'll be a little bit upset that uh, England lost. So yeah, perfect result would be a draw, 1-1, one, one, I'll take that. But no matter what happens, I hope also that England and Serbia get through the group and have a very good, successful Euro campaign. 
So best of luck to both. I'll be rooting for both in that tournament, but in that game, yeah, my head will be scrambled. I just think it needs to be a draw. Like I said earlier, going forward with the channel after here, I'm going to another South American country. Then I'm going to head to Europe because obviously, like I say, it's warmer. Um, I thought about possibly Bosnia because I'd like to try their Chivapi. Uh, if you can let me know where you think I should go, then yeah, let me know in the comments and I'll have a think about it. Also let me know what kind of content that you want to see from me. I'm going to be doing some more food videos in Colombia. Uh, I'm going to try some different cuisines. Obviously, like I say, I'm going to try this Serbian one. I know Serbian food, but I don't know Colombian Serbian food. That's, that's something different. Also, there's going to be some other cuisines from around the world I think I'll try here. I've got to say, in Bogota, the food is absolute class. The standard, everything. You'll never have a bad meal here. And it's great big portions, which I'm all about. I hope you've enjoyed my Colombian videos. If you've not seen them, go and check them out. I've got to say, my time here has been very enjoyable. The people, uh, the weather, the food, the beer. The beer, for me, yeah, really, really good. Better than English beer. But, okay, I had the one hiccup where I got robbed the once, but that was a mistake which, um, you know, shouldn't have happened. Being in a dark street late at night, not a good thing. But if you're coming to Colombia, check out my video that will keep you safe there's like 10 tips of which locals have said to me i wish i would have knew about them sooner because yeah it would have saved a lot of trouble but apart from that i've got to say my time here has been absolute quality and i implore anybody who's seen this coming to colombia come because you'll enjoy it like i say food weather people just stay safe Okay, I think that's all for today's video, the walk and talk. Let me know your opinions in comments, where I should film next, what country, also what content you like and what kind of content you want me to film. Time to go back now and get myself a Colombian coffee and chill, laters.